Let's start with the reading Scorpio. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Keep in mind that I'm still selecting people for free personal readings. Keep watching to know how to get selected in case you are in need of a reading right now. Now, let's see what messages we have for you today. There's definitely someone here who's a lot in their head and who's thinking about the situation almost non-stop. This person right here cannot stop thinking about you, Scorpio. Cannot stop thinking about the way that you make them feel. Therefore, they're not able to let go of something that once you shared. And this is something that they have been feeling for a while now, from what I see here. And overall, it's going soon to transform into an event, into something that it might be unexpected to you. And at the same time, it's going to be very powerful. Perhaps what we see here with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords is someone who cannot take it anymore. They have to come towards you. They have to talk to you. There is no more waiting that they can do. These are two knights. And knights usually really charge you forward quickly. They might not care about the consequences of their actions. They might not care about the fact that what they're doing could result into a poor outcome for them. They just need to see you. They just need to talk to you. They just need to be close to you so that the two of you can share the same space. Right now, I definitely see that sort of, of, of obsession that comes with the Nine of Swords and with the Nine of Wands. Once we see action, we see someone actually about to do something which for you, it's going to be unexpected. As far as your focus, we see the Five of Cups up here. And there is something right here that you are thinking about, something that maybe you really hoped in the past that would go well, but it turned out to be a disappointment. We see how the two of you right now might be approaching the situation in completely different ways. We have someone here, the other person, trying to ignore the problem, trying to ignore the fact that maybe this relationship is over um, and they are in fact planning to come forward and we see that unexpected event whereas you instead you decide to face reality you think you know what this is not just about one issue one mistake this is a whole bunch of things that just didn't work out and with the five of cups you feel as though there is nothing to fix the only thing to do here would be to walk away, which is exactly what you have done in the past. With the Five of Cups, you still have some sort of emotional connection, but you're trying to be stronger than that. You're trying to truly make sure that you don't do something which you might regret down the line. And so right here, we still see some sort of instability whenever you think about this person. But at the same time, you're not letting it get into you because you want to focus on yourself. You want to focus on your stability, on your happiness. Why living in the past when I have a life, when I want to live in the present and think about the future? But this person doesn't think that. They actually think that the past is still part of the present and they're not able to let you go. Not right now and perhaps not for a long time. The past position, two of pentacles. This is clearly something that kept you busy for a while. We see that it wasn't easy for you to let go of this person either. We're not talking about you being heartless, you not wanting to even try to fix things. Instead, you have tried. You just have noticed and realized that your efforts were not paying off at all. And so what is the, the point? 
to keep trying when perhaps you're the only one who's trying here. And so right here with the two of pentacles, I just see you being busy, distracting yourself, balancing many aspects of your life and focusing on what can be really important for you today and for your future as well. With the two of pentacles, usually you take a step back and you are wanting to see the big picture, try to maybe explain why certain things have happened so that you can fully let go. Right here in the past, I just see you giving yourself closure so that you don't have to rely on them for anything, not even the closure energy, so that you can move on and let go of this. In your strength position, in fact, we have that moving on, six of swords, although we see how painful that might have been. You've had dreams about this person. You have had goals and a vision with them. But at the same time, when you saw that this was not working, you have realized that the best thing to do was to let them go. Regardless of that, the pain was there. But this is your strength. This is what makes you a very strong person, Scorpio. Being able to do whatever needs to be done, even if it hurts. You might put a smile on your face and say, you know what? It's fine. It is what it is. I have other priorities. I'll find other priorities. I'll find happiness. Happiness doesn't come just with that person. Therefore, I'm going to keep a positive attitude and just forget about them. So this is definitely your strength, but supporting the reading, we have a decision that someone is still having to make. And to me, this is starting to connect to this Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. We have something coming in, which honestly, it is going to be unexpected for you. And to me, what's unexpected here is also your reaction to that. Right now, you are definitely sure about how you feel for this person, how you feel about the situation. But when this happens, it's going to be different. It's going to make you question certain things just because you haven't seen this coming at all, not in the way that it's coming to you right here. In your hidden position, we have the Seven of Swords. And there is someone here who's keeping something to themselves. On the opposite side, as you remember, the two of pentacles, keeping busy, trying to distract yourself. Maybe here, Scorpio, your heart all of a sudden is going to talk about how you feel once again. It's going to give you messages that maybe you do not want to hear. You're thinking to yourself, you know what? I have gone through this before. Why am I putting through this once again? But you won't know until you see what this person is about to do, which really feels different. It feels, I, want, I don't want to say more mature because these are still knights and knights need more time to grow into the queen and the king. But at the same time, they are 10 steps ahead, 10 steps above what they, the position that they had before they did this. So there is something here very unexpected and it feels like it's going to change your vision or starting to change your vision. You're going to fight it. You're going to say, no, 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 no. I am not going to go there, but it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a struggle to not go there. Let's see with that seven of swords. Let me clarify that for a second. Let me see what that Seven of Swords is representing in the hidden energies coming towards you. <laughs> right here we have the Emperor and the Lovers. Ten of Cups, Page of Wands, yeah. Right here, really, you have a dilemma. And the reason being, it's because this person right now seems to have it all. They have the emotional support energy, but also they seem stable. It looks like they have rebuilt their life. They have rebuilt their image. 
And right here, what they want to do is showing you how beautiful this could be. They want to convince you that there is a lot more that the two of you can achieve. And trust me, from what I see here, they will do something which will make you question your own beliefs. We see here, you starting to realize, is this my last chance to be in love? Is this my last chance to be happy and to be in a stable relationship? But the funny thing is that you would have never thought that you could be in anything stable with this person up to this point. There is something very fundamental that they are showing to you, which is going to change your mind. And I'm really curious to see what this is, but if this person comes in with the emperor energy, it really makes you feel as though they are in control of their life. Something that they weren't before. They didn't have that control at all. Instead, right now, they seem to be exactly the person that you want by your side. Because the love was there. The passion was there, absolutely. What was missing was sanity, control, stability. And now that they're about to do something here with these two knights, it's going to make you question, wait, so is this the right time for this to actually happen? What is going on? What it's about to come up and how this overall situation could evolve now that they have changed, now that they're showing me things that they have never showed me before. So let's immediately flip the reading. I am curious to see what this other person is about right now. I want to see how they feel for you, what they're about to do here, what they have changed, which will make you question everything and how the situation can truly evolve if you are to give this person another chance. It won't be easy because you are sure about the fact that this is over and that they're never going to change. But these events are going to make you question everything. So let's flip the reading. Let's see how the other person is feeling their true intentions and what they're about to do. And then we will see the evolution of this relationship in the near and distant future. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, just follow me in the extended video link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every week, I randomly select viewers that have watched the extended video to offer them a free personal 30 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning. Make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Scorpio. This was truly unexpected. Not the fact that this person is coming back, but the fact that you are going to react to that energy in a way that you're not expecting at all. There is something that is about to happen here which will really shock you from within you. And it's because of what this person is about to do. It's because of what this person right now is going to put on the table which you did not see coming from them at all, at all. So we see how these two knights are about to do something in the near future which is going to trigger all these events and these doubts. Let's see what this person is about to do and then we will see how they truly feel, not what they want to show you and what they truly want for the future of this relationship. Are they truthful now or do they still have perhaps a secret agenda which you might not know about? Let's look into this person's energy starting with these knights. Let's see what this person is about to do. <laughs> Look at that. That's a major risk. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, what we're seeing here is clearly someone who's going to tell you.